My name's Michelle Kennell and I'm the eldest sister of Daniel Kennell. Um, Daniel was 27 years old, he had a full-time job, he was part of a really large, loving, close-knit family. He worked full-time within our family business, um, enjoyed playing football, socialising with his friends and was slowly working towards putting the play pieces into place for his future and to get to the future that he wanted to live. Um, it was taken. Violence on our streets is fundamentally it's a societal problem. It's about parents, it's about families, it's about education, it's about health. Um, it's not something that we can police our way out of. In the short term, yeah, we can put some enforcement tactics in place, but fundamentally it's about choices, it's about opportunities, and that's why it needs that broader approach. We've moved forward an awful lot. We've had an awful lot of funding come into the city. We've coordinated the delivery of that funding. We've done some really short-term enforcement activity with partners, but there's an awful lot more we can do in the longer term, which is why the delivery of our strategy, which needs to be a long-term strategy, um, I think is being driven through this partnership work, and it's going really well. It's been a really busy year, really busy year. We started with a summit last January where we actually made a pledge across organisations to work on this together. The partnership between the police, the city council, through schools, faith sector, voluntary sector has been brilliant and we've now got a strategy which aligns all the different elements of that. first thing that we could say, and the evidence from Ofsted on this point is overwhelming, is that the children in the city feel safe in school. But what we're seeing emerging right now, which I think is extremely exciting, is a movement of older young people, so older teenagers, actually starting to take some responsibility for themselves uh, within the community. So the Fridays movement, for example, um, which is being driven by uh, Tyler Campbell, is starting to demonstrate young people taking positive assertive action for themselves. So my feeling is, that as the kids we've got in school now get older, if we do the right job, they will go on to be adults in a community that will become safer because of the work we've done today. Uh, my name's Tyler Campbell. I'm, I'm the founder of Fr Friday's Coventry. It's a youth entertainment club to prevent knife crime, gang violence, 15 to 17, trying to get parents less worried, keeping more young people off the street. I'm Lisa Carroll. I'm the Director of Youth Work for YMCA Coventry in Warwickshire. And we've had Active Citizens fund money to set up a programme called Inspiring Futures. And we're finding that more and more that there is this real sense of, of communities wanting to work collaboratively, wanting to, to be part of something tangible and joined up. My name is John Bernard and uh, I'm a, I'm a co-founder of a social enterprise movement called BASE, which is an acronym for Be A Change Everywhere. And the aim of the organisation is to reach young people who are on the fringe. So what we're trying to do is use an early intervention approach into reaching young people by providing them with uh, mentorship-based workshops which focus on four core areas, which are identity, potential, legacy and habits. My name is Fred and I work for the Bishop of Coventry. We're going to be piloting a project um, in Fosal. We're going to be working with an Anglican church there and a Sikh Gurdwara and we're going to be hosting safe spaces for young people in places of worship. I'm Natalie Cannell, I'm Daniel's uh, third sister. Um, so, so far we've, uh, we've done a lot of fundraising to, and to get our foundation out there and the name around people knowing what we're about. Uh, we've connected massively with a lot of other organisations, a lot of other families that have also been affected, uh, the police. Um, we've, we're really out there with people, um, which is what we needed to do before we can work out where the money is going to be spent that we have fundraised. Um, to get ideas of what is needed within and around Coventry. And we bring a lot of experts into our schools and part of the work of the, the police and schools panels is to identify the right experts to bring into school who can either reassure children that this isn't the, the, uh, you know, the sort of massive issue necessarily that affects everybody, that, that, that there may be the perception that that's the case, uh, but also to provide really targeted support either from ex-gang members or from uh, street doctors, for example, you know, medical uh, students who come and talk to the students about the sort of injuries that are sustained by people who are, who are stabbed and also some basic remedial first aid, you know.